Welcome to our overview of the File Catalyst Express client. The purpose of this video is to show you how easy it is to connect to a File Catalyst server for on-demand accelerated file transfers. After the application launches, click Connect. If you want to save this session for future use, enter a site name. Enter the host name, which is the IP or domain you use for the connection, along with your username and password. If you know your connection speed, you should specify it on the Bandwidth tab. Otherwise, the default values will work, but may be less than optimal. If your administrator has set a port other than 21 for connections, they will have notified you, and you can make the change on the Advanced tab. Our server is on port 21, so we'll leave it there. Transfer mode should usually stay at UDP as well. While I'm on this tab, I will specify a local directory that I want to use for every connection. This is entirely optional. The security checkbox enables you to make a connection over SSL. This option needs to be enabled on the server side as well. Now that we've provided basic information, we can go ahead and click Connect. As with most FTP clients, local files are on the left, remote files are on the right. A number of commands are available either by clicking the icons, or by right-clicking or option-clicking for a context menu. To upload files, select from the local system and click the right arrow. To download, select Remote Files and click on the left arrow. For any duplicate files, you will be prompted to overwrite or skip. That's it! Thanks for watching. To learn more about other client options available for File Catalyst Direct, including web applets and the feature rich hot folder client, visit us at www.filecatalyst.com.